And we're following a breaking news alert in downtown Houston. The jury now deliberating in the David Temple retrial. Closing arguments in the retrial wrapped up just after 4 o'clock today. So the jury has had the case for almost two hours now. Temple, a former a -Leaf Hastings High School football coach, is accused of killing his wife, Belinda, in 1999. His first trial ended with a conviction, but that was overturned. Our senior reporter, Phil Archer, is joining us live from downtown where everyone is wondering if the jury will reach a decision tonight. Phil, uh, what time do they have to break? Well, they're planning to break at 7 tonight. You can never tell what a jury will do, but this jury has an awful lot to go over before they reach a final decision. Earlier today, they heard the attorneys sum up four weeks of testimony in about four hours in a case that hinges largely on competing timelines between the prosecution and defense, timelines that either did or did not allow David Temple the time to murder his wife and then try to cover it up. Prosecutors say David Temple had the means, method, and motive to kill his wife, Belinda, and that he carefully crafted an alibi to try to deflect suspicion. Their marriage was on the rocks. David Temple was carrying on an affair with another woman, and on the afternoon of January 11th, 1999, prosecutors say Temple confronted his pregnant wife as she cowered in their bedroom closet and then killed her with a shotgun. A non-intruder is responsible for this murder. And that's David Temple. They alleged Temple then broke out a back door window to give the impression of a break in and left the house with his three year old son, who was ill, to build an alibi by going shopping and visit a park. He was done with Belinda, he was done with this marriage, and he was done with this life. But Temple's defense team says the prosecution's timeline doesn't work, that someone else murdered Belinda Temple. Reasonable doubt exists here. There are many many reasons to doubt. The defense contends Temple couldn't have had time to murder his wife, then take his son to run errands and arrive back home in time to find Belinda's body just after five in the afternoon. The defense offered an alternative scenario that a 16 year old neighbor, a boy Belinda Temple feared, a boy with a grudge, broke into the house and killed her. The only smoking gun was the shotgun below it belonging to a kid who Belinda Temple was afraid of, who Belinda Temple was concerned about. And we know she was afraid because two people told us that. I did the open. You want that for the wedding? Jurors will deliberate until 7 this evening. After that, if they haven't reached a verdict, they'll be taken to a hotel to be sequestered overnight and then begin deliberations again in the morning. Reporting live at the Criminal Justice Center, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Phil.